Hi, my name is Frédéric Panayotis. I am the Salamaster for Champagne winner. And I'm very pleased to share with you this non-vintage Ruina Rosé. Um, Ruina was the first officially established Champagne house in 1729. As you can see on this account book, uh, which is still among our amazing archives, um, it was on the 1st September of 1729 that the, um, that the house was established. When we think of uh, history, uh, we love to have a look at this painting from Jean-François de Troyes, painted in 1735, called Le Déjeuner d'Huître. Um, the first evidence um, of a champagne bottle being opened, as you can see with the cork uh, popping out. Uh, but uh, more interestingly for us, uh, if you look at the shape of the bottles, it is almost the same as Ruinard uh, bottles today. Uh, so we have this um, amazing link with, uh, with the beginning of the history um, of Champagne. Ruinard was uh, a pioneer in many ways. Um, Ruinard was the first house to use wooden boxes to ship Champagne to uh, its European markets and even overseas, uh, starting from 1769. Ruinard was also the first Champagne house to use the Crayère, um, the famous chalk pits, which are now part of the um, World Heritage, uh, to store champagne. There is no better cellar to um, store champagne. Imagine the conditions are oh, perfect. Um, temperature is always the same. Uh, it's absolutely dark. Uh, humidity is high. And it's completely naturally regulated. So it's, uh, it's very sustainable, uh, actually. Renard was also a pioneer in making rosé. Actually, a few years ago, uh, we discovered in our archives that as early as 1764, in the month of March, uh, the house Renard shipped 60 bottles of a wine which was not called rosé back in the days, but um, was actually designed by the name Oeil de Perdri, uh, meaning partridge eye. And um, from the 1762 vintage, those, those bottles are the first evidence of a champagne rosé being made in the region. So we were a pioneer um, there as well. Obviously, now the technique to make rosé is quite different. Um, we first we source the grapes from about 40 villages um, to make the Ruinard rosé. Uh, we use Pinot Noir at about 55%, and we use Chardonnay for the remaining 45%. The color comes from uh, the blending technique. So we make white wine on one side, from Chardonnay and from Pinot Noir, but we also make red wine um, from perfectly selected Pinot Noir grapes from Premier Cru vineyards, and we macerate them for up to a week um, to extract color, to extract flavors, but to extract as little tannins as possible because we want to keep, we want to keep the, um, the rawness uh, in the palate, which is part of the Renard style. What does Renard Rosé taste like? Well, let's open a bottle. Uh, but first, glassware, extremely important. We favor this type of uh, tulip-shaped glassware. Imagine a hybrid between the narrow flute, which needs to be avoided, uh, and a regular wine glass, and you have um, this tulip shape, which is perfect for champagne. Rosé is a blend of, rosé non-vintage uh, at Renard, is a blend of typically um, three harvests, three years, uh, in order to maintain the consistency of style. Um, but also to maintain the freshness, because the aromatic freshness is truly part of the uh, Renard style. So, to open the bottle easily, wrap the cork with the muzzle on, it's easier actually, and just turn the bottle gently. And you will feel the cork popping out, or trying to pop out. You just have to let it go this way.
One of the assets of uh, Renard Rosé is that very intense uh, and beautiful uh, pink color. Uh, we use quite a significant amount of Pinot Noir and uh, as a red wine, and, and we want to really enhance the, uh, the characteristic of this red wine in our, in our Renard Rosé. What we mean by aromatic freshness is the combination of very lifted um, aromas, and here you have, well, you have a lot of fruit, a lot of fruit flavors, um, ranging from like pink grapefruit, um, ranging from tropical, um, such as guava, lychee uh, flavors, but also some maybe more traditional berries and think of uh, cherry, think of raspberry. So there's always like a fresh minty um, note as well and some spices. It's very lifted and that's definitely the aromatic freshness of the house. Hmm. On the palate, uh, Renard Rosé is, like all other um, Renard non-vintage cuvee, uh, has that beautiful rawness, a beautiful texture. Um, we, when we blend the wines, and when my team blend the wines, um, we really try to have that natural rawness that we incorporate the, the, the gentle tannins of the red wine, but also the effervescence. Uh, and, and in the in the Rina Rosé, you have that very silky, um, very gentle effervescence that is lingering and um, that, that carries the flavor all the way um, through the end. Low dosage, around 8 grams per liter, and it, it leaves a very clean, very crisp finish, which is very refreshing and which makes this Rosé an amazing food partner. It's a great start of the meal um, as an aperitif, but it's probably the most versatile um, of all our champagnes. And um, you can start the meal with it um, easily if you pair with, um, think of like um, grilled scallops with a little bit of like red cheese or a little bit of a uh, um, grapefruit, pink grapefruit on it. Uh, beautiful combination, fresh, um, not so crispy, but, uh, but more on the fresh and zesty side. Uh, you can um, use prawns, and I would definitely recommend using large prawns, like kick prawns, uh, with some spicy, so like in a Thai bowl, this uh, would work absolutely well. Uh, another um, uh, winning combination is a salmon tartar or salmon sashimi, again using some shizo, using some ginger to get a, a gentle spicy uh, element. Um, and when it comes to meat, it's also possible. Uh, one of my favorite pairings with the Renard Rosé would be beef tataki. And again, you have a range of flavors. You have the yeasty flavor from the soy sauce, um, uh, the, the, the ponzu sauce also, which brings a, which brings a more zesty element and, and the, the, the very soft texture of the beef. And if you want to remain without meat or any fish, a tartata of tomato, magically. Cheers, enjoy.